hello and welcome back to my channel in the previous video we started by looking having a cursory look at the features of the epa net or epanet software the drawing space and how values objects can be added on the drawing workspace and we also mentioned that we were going to uh, analyze a simple water distribution network or system using some of the features on the uh, menu bars. For now, we had inputted the value for an, input, uh, an object for the tank which would be the water source. We are still looking at the drawing, this sketch, which we are going to draw. And then we are going to also add hydraulic information on the various objects, hydraulic objects that we have. We have the tank, we have the pipes, and we also have the junctions or nodes. So values will be added to them the essence of all this is to ensure that the uh epanet runs the analysis successfully without any hitches so let's look at it again we have pipe junctions one two three four five six seven so let's input this on the uh, epanet software So, I will go down to the standard toolbars. I will click on this uh, menu, which is for the junction on nodes. I'll click, and then I'll begin to introduce those values. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, you can see that the command for the junctions is still on. For me to... Uh, deselect it I will click on this arrow button and once I do that it will revert back to its default cursor default the next step is to add the pipes so I'm going to click on this uh, bar here on this um, icon or button for the pipe and then I will click on the center of, I'll start with the tank, I'll click on the center and then extend it to the center of the first junction and there I have my pipe 1. Now let's look at the sketch again. So that's P1, so P2, P3, P4, P5 will be drawn as indicated on the sketch. So I will continue, the command is still on, so I can click on the middle of this and then extend it down and click. Once it's established on the middle, it will show and that is pipe 2. I will click again and extend from junction 1 to 4 to give me pipe 3. I shall continue with this procedure from junction 2 to junction 3 to give me pipe 4 and then from junction between junction 4 and 5 I should have pipe 5 I shall continue with this procedure for the other uh, links to connect all the junctions to the pipes and then we will now have a network so we have added all the other lines or links to represent the pipes in the network. So let's label the tank by clicking on this uh, button and just beside it we click so that we can label it as tank. Press enter. So the next step is to add the hydraulic uh, parameters for each of the objects on the drawing space. 
So we shall start with the tank and by either okay sorry so let's click on the uh, information on this uh, side on the right hand side of the drawing space and here we see the dialog box will appear where we have the label editor now we have already labeled it as a tank and the x and y coordinates has been presented in real life situations it is possible for these coordinates to be obtained from maps or satellite imagery and so information on this tank can be added on the property um, menu uh, box here so let's let's assume that it is occupying an elevation of let's say 43 meters let's assume the initial uh, level to be 10 the minimum level to be 0 and then the maximum level to be 15 let us leave the diameter to be let's say 35 now we may wish to click this and close the editor but we can also access other uh, hydraulic uh, objects or properties of this network from the menu bar here so the result uh, the tank has been attended to so let's look at the pipes and you can see that from the editor we can assess the features of the hydraulic properties of the pipes each of them are there they are up to 10 so we can start from one so this is pipe one now we are going to add some very important attributes first of all let's look at from our defaults when we set the hydraulic uh, some hydraulic properties we can see the pipe roughness we set it to be 0.1 meaning that we are using pvc pipes and we're also adopting the darcy weisbach equation we may choose to edit our length of pipes here and also uh, we may need to add two very important uh, inputs one is the length of the pipe let's let's still let's still edit it and take it to be 40 and then because this is a small network and um, looking at it it is just being supplied by an overhead tank then the second uh, parameter that needs to be added here is the pipe diameter so for now let's leave it at 12. other features the start node the end node t junction one and t um, it, it started from the tank one to junction one so obviously we are um, handling this particular pipe and you can see the cursor having an, a blinking uh, indicator here so we can move on to the next pipe we may decide to retain the same features of pipe length 40 pipe diameter 12 and leaving the roughness the same goes for pipe 3 pipe 4 pipe 5 pipe 6 pipe 7 pipe 8 and pipes 9 and 10 
in our next video we shall look at how to add the nodes the values the hydraulic properties of the nodes and then run a simple simulation